Dear colleagues, in this video, I am going to demonstrate nucleus management and IOL implantation under irrigation. We can see that this is a white cataract. Capsulorexis has been done. And now, the teeth of the FACO handpiece is being introduced into the anterior chamber. Now, let us see how the nucleus is being managed. This is a quite hard cataract. After a few sculpts, the teeth is buried deep into the nucleus. It is advanced, applying energy, ultrasonic energy, and the nucleus is chopped. This can be called a modified woodcutter's technique. The FACO power at this time is 75%. Flow rate is 45, vacuum is 450. This is an Oatly Caterex 3 FACO machine. Vacuum is very nice. I hold the nucleus firmly and chop. Each fragment is worked on with ultrasonic energy and it is emulsified and removed. This is the last fragment. I remove the chopper. The posterior capsule goes towards the vitreous cavity and it becomes very safe to remove the last fragment. Now, a little bit of viscoelastic substance is injected. Now, cortical cleanup can be done by bimanual IA or coaxial IA. I use this very simple instrument, a 23 gauge Simco cannula, because it works very well in my hands and it is faster actually. The time to change the tubes is not wasted. You have to remove the aspiration tube as well as the irrigation tube and attach the irrigation aspiration probes and this time is utilized. That is about this lot of time. Once you don't wait, the rhythm of surgery continues. And when you have a long list of surgery, you try to save time at every opportunity. Now, the lens is being implanted under irrigation. In this case, this is the intraocular lens. It's a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens. Irrigation goes first. Now the lens is injected into the anterior chamber. <coughs> the leading haptic, I'm not sure whether it is going into the capsular bag or not. I depress the upper part of the lens and send the upper haptic into the trailing haptic into the capsular bag and now let me check if the leading haptic is in the capsular bag or not the lens is not rotating very freely so there is something wrong the leading haptic has not gone into the capsular bag so what i do is i put the irrigation on the sinski hook and the irrigation probe both are used to place the leading haptic into the capsular bag 
tested the cases done since there is no viscoelastic substance I don't have to clean it out now the side ports are hydrated a final wash is made the antechamber is formed and the, I conclude the case this is how I form the antechamber like this thank you very much for watching